Good evening. Welcome to Politically Incorrect. Here is with us tonight, Mr. William Shatner. No. Making his final appearance on Politically Incorrect. sadly. Uh, after so many years. Inevitably. It, yeah, but I'm glad you came by. You are doing an auteur, auteur turn with Groom Lake coming out later this year, director, producer, and star. And in August, you have a book coming out. I am working on that. <laughs> okay. Lisa Pinto. Thank you for coming back. Former you. prosecutor, you're the conservative commentator on the Oxygen Channel's roundtable show, She Span. Thank you for being with, with us. And Rania Masri, did I say that correctly? Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, I will try to. Uh, this is your stuff. This is your book, Iraq Under Siege. Interesting reading there. You are the program director for the Institute of Southern Studies. And Al Franken, our most requested guest year after year on this show. And this is your new one, Al. It's called, Oh, the Things I Know. I love this subtitle. A Guide to Success or Failing That Happiness. Please give a hand to this panel. So, uh, okay, so let's start with a little politics because I know President Bush has a heavy burden on his shoulders these days because they are pressuring him to declare whether he is going to come out for a Palestinian state and a timetable on that. I know that's an issue that is very close to your heart. I bet you everybody here thinks there should be a Palestinian state. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Even I do, and I know you think that I'm <laughs> the big enemy. No. I just want to keep it real about mm -hmm. Palestine, and I am for a Palestinian state of some kind. Mm -hmm. I just object when they say that the Israelis, the Jews, took over a former Palestinian state. There never was one. Could we get that straight? It's a made-up word. Palestine used to refer to the Jews, okay? And then it was the Ottoman Empire, and then after they gave it up, Gaza was in, was the, the Egyptians had that. The West Bank was from Jordan. They never called them Palestinians. Suddenly the Jews came in. They made oranges as big as basketballs. Hello to the Palestinians. <laughs> Actually, that's not quite true. And if it were true, it would make things a lot easier. What but about that not is not true, true? Because when the fall of the Ottoman Empire took over and we had the British mandate in Palestine in 1922, the British mandate took over Palestine with the implicit and legal understanding that they would actually work towards creating an independent Palestinian state. So by 1922... And also a Jewish homeland was promised no, by the a, British. No, a Jewish homeland was promised Alford. later. But I'm talking specifically... No, no, no. In 1922 no. No, the was British when, was when the British mandate... What does it matter? What does it really matter? It's all what historical it? garbage. It, it no longer matters. Might is right. The United Nations decreed a state uh, of Israel. The, the people who lived there gambled that uh, they should stay or not stay. Okay. They gambled not to stay. They didn't stay. State of Israel exists. Now what do you do? Whether what happened in 1850, the Ottoman Empire, no longer applies right here and now. Actually, if we're going to talk about the UN, and thank you for bringing this up, if you're going to talk about might as well. UN 147, here we go. I hear no, no, it coming. No. Actually, I was going to talk about 181, but oh, I could also okay. talk about 147. Another non-binding. <laughs> but, but actually, actually, no, no, no. could we talk, talk in words instead but of actually, numbers? Actually, the, the United Nations, <laughs> the United Nations, both in the Security Council resolutions and General Assembly resolutions, international law have stated quite clearly that Palestinians have the right to return to their homes. That's part number one. Part number two, they have stated quite clearly time and time again that the Israeli state must end its occupation of the West Bank and Gaza. And they later stated but this that is East Jerusalem fiction. is included yeah. in the West Bank. This is opium thrown at a... Oh, yeah, I feel not, bad for the all. refugees. You know, four million people, they're disenfranchised, they're living there in squalor and poverty, and it's the Arab states that keep them there. Why don't they absorb them into of their course. population, feed them, educate them, treat them because like real they're people? Professional, they're professional refugees. Just like some people are professional students, Bill, they never really want to graduate. No, no, because then you might have to no, do no. your own laundry. It's, own it's deeper, it's created deeper by than the that. Arab states. Exactly. It's, it's, I mean, it's, sorry. it's deeper could, than that. Bill, it's, if you could just go to the refugee camps in Gaza or in oh, the West sure Bank. No, no, no. Or, or in Beirut or in Syria and actually tell them that they are professional refugees? Well, I mean, it's no. Because no, the Arab states keep them down. Twice they've been offered. It is their right 
maintain the status quo. Absolutely. It's the right to right to go home. to divert attention from right the real problem. That's correct. Which is their corrupt leadership. That's yes. exactly Why right. have a democracy what? in the Middle East that threatens all those what dictators? A, what other place well, in the we world? We don't have. Israel is a democracy only if you are Jewish. Oh, but no. no. Since 20% no, 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 of the Israeli no, no, population no, 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 are non-Jews. There are 13 Knesset members. They hold office. They vote. They are enfranchised. These numbers, these numbers. are different laws in Israel. These numbers are meaningless. You have a people who, if they incorporated the Palestinians who wanted to come back, would outnumber the people who run the democracy. Absolutely. So it's an impossible situation yeah, to the, invite the... It's just hum, humanly but impossible. This, this is, Every, everybody sort of agrees, though, that we do want to have a Palestinian state, and it's just really how to get there. Peacefully. And part of how to get there, I think, is you were talking about the moderate... Arab states such as Saudi Arabia, who uh, <laughs> last uh, during Passover last year, in a state-sponsored newspaper, ran uh, a two-part series on how Jews uh, use Gentile blood. and uh, uh, Muslim blood of babies uh, in their rituals. And I'm Reformed Delicious, Jew, by the way. I'm Reformed Jew, so I don't use Gentile blood. <laughs> Or Muslim blood, but uh, I think as kosher. long as we have Saudi Arabia paying for the family members of suicide bombers to to come to Mecca for a trip, you know, if your kid uh, blows up 17 people, you get, you win a trip to Mecca. Can I ask? And as long as we are supporting that kind of regime, and this goes to President Bush's relationship with Saudi Arabia. And it goes to his relationship with oil. Yes. And as long as we're not taking a message from 9-11, which is to So, Al, let's start drilling in Anwar in the Gulf of Mexico and in Africa, right? Why don't we support well, the oil I, companies I'll tell you what, and let's have uh, increased cap... Here? And let's Float. have... Excuse me. You f Sir, go ahead. Yeah. I agree. Uh, we should... Uh, I think we should be energy self-sufficient, and I would trade drilling in the Anwar for increased cafe standards and for... Uh, uh, investment in uh, the renewable, renewable, uh, and part I think part of the that, Bush Energy Plan. If I can just interrupt well, for a minute, except, okay. no, but if part we of get, it, no. part of it, but okay. not not the but uh, but not the, the good part. Let's things. get back to Palestine, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. right? Because say so you wanted to say something too. I think. Well, to I think we get, we get carried away with this idea of democracy. And I have to say, the South African apartheid system utilized the same excuse. We have a democracy. We don't care about them. There are different laws in Israel, and this is proven. This, this is not opium. And I would challenge you to go and read those laws themselves. You have different South laws. You, please let me continue. Go ahead. You have different laws in Israel for people who are Christian and Muslim citizens than people who are Jewish citizens. But they can vote. Christian they and Muslim vote. citizens. They can Christian hold political and Muslim citizens. office. Yeah. How are the Jews Palestine? treated in Muslim citizens? Yeah. Actually, and by the actually. way, plenty of Jews were kicked out of Muslim countries. They don't have any right of return nonsense yeah, yeah. going on for 60 years. People all over the world have been booted out of countries and they just, made their peace with it. Poles, Russians, they Jews. Panama used to be part of Colombia and New Mexico and California used to be yes. part of Mexico. Yes. People just adjust. They don't carry it on generation after this generation. Has, this hasn't been that long. It's been 54 years. No, honey, it's no, been thousands no, of no, years. No, 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 it has not been thousands of years. And I think you that, know, that is the I mean, opium. Did you read that the that is the opium. The, the state of Israel what, was created in 1948. Well, according, now, let me just please finish my point, Mr. Chairman. to affect a peaceful transition. Mm -hmm. To quote the history is 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 nonsense it's 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 uh, okay. hot air if you want to how, talk about how how to I, make I disagree very, very with that clearly. i really I mean, do I mean, because you cannot build the present unless you know the past it does matter what happened in the past excuse me it does it matters that they are saying that this is occupied territory if it really isn't occupied territory you're going to build a new state on a lie we can build a new state, but not on the lie that there ever was a Palestinian no, there people. Was. Israelis or a want Palestine an, state. Israeli, Rania, Israelis want a Palestinian state, but under no, peaceful no. Some, terms. Some Israelis now it's my turn, not. honey. Some Israelis there have been not. two offers of Palestinian statehood. One in 1947. I mean, let's keep it civil here. In 1947, right, they offered a cope, the United Nations offered the partition plan, live side by side. What happened? The Arab countries attacked Israel. Again in 2000, Bill Clinton ran to peace plan down Barack's throat. What happened? 2000 Intifada, two, oh which we're God. living through now. There were two bombings today oh. in Jerusalem. If I, could, if I could respond to the myths that you raise. First myths? of all... Historical fact! <laughs> you know, Darling, you know, you know, respond. Darling. 
And, and I'll tell you, 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 you do not have to read Edward Said or Noam Chomsky. Oh, you do Saeed not have to read Palestinian historians. You can read the Israeli historians themselves. Start with Moshe Dayan and go forward, and you'll find that what I am saying is absolutely true. Camp David Accords that you're continuing to refer to and that's being referred to by the mainstream media, so-called Barak's generous offer, is equivalent to me stating that I will place you in a prison where, yes, you may have the maximum space because the cells take up the space, but I will not grant you access to water. I will have complete control over that's, your movement, no, which is that's the case. True. What we have, Bita Salam, Bita Salam, the Israeli human was, rights organization, has released just a few weeks ago that in the West Bank alone, we have Israeli settlers. These are illegal occupiers, according to the United Nations. Fighting for their lives. Illegal occupiers the who have no right to be why in the did, West Bank did, who did, control 41.9% of the West Bank, although their All right, homes there are there. we go with the numbers. Hey, I gotta make a few numbers myself. We'll be okay. back. Well, Hispanic gang member turned uh, dirty bomber terrorist Jose Padilla may never go to trial, according to Defense Chief Don Rumsfeld. Uh, he, he says we have no interest in punishing this guy, just finding out what he knows. Because Rumsfeld says the quicker he tells us what he knows, the sooner the FBI and the CIA cannot talk about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Quiet, we're on right, camera. Can't cut that. Um, so, uh, Paul McCartney got married today, and I know uh, my producer told me, Al, you said your last appearance on the show, you wanted to talk to me about marriage because over the years I guess you've heard me and interpreted what I've said to be a degradation of marriage which it never was. Have I'm you ever been married? I've never been married. So how can you even argue a position? <laughs> <laughs> so you know what, you know what Bill, I, I have never been... You are coming from a position of ignorance have, once again. I have... <laughs> <laughs> I have never been in prison either, but I That's think so I know stupid. I don't want to go. <laughs> do, do you relate that to marriage? Just for me. I have never argued against marriage. For, I know it works for some people, but, you know, the, the problem in this country isn't that marriage is somehow under attack. Being single is the, what usually gets this kind of response. People say, why aren't you married? I never go up to you and say, hey, why aren't you divorced yet? But you know what? The species can't continue if we don't have children and raise them nicely. I mean, you children, don't have to be married children who have single that. parents don't do, they don't thrive. They commit crimes, they do drugs, they're depressed. I mean, how is it? It's true. The shoe bomber is a, is a, has a single mother. This guy has a shoe Padilla bomber had a single, single mother. Well, she tries nine and a half. <laughs> It's true, though. Wow. I mean, we wow. can block that, that's marriage heavy. and family, but that's even a Dan Quayle couldn't have made yeah. that leap. I mean, even Murphy <laughs> Brown. That's, that's, and that, what, that's that is like, really. I, a, did, I just wanted to bring it up because I know, uh, you know I, I know I, you care about. Me. Well, I'm. I listen. You shouldn't get married. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, and and that's not what this is about. Right. You you don't want to have kids. I've I've heard you say that. I don't want. I don't. I'm I'm right. I'm not interested in children. And the really. But, not, but even if I was, I'm not interested in marriage either. But that's just me, and that's okay. And by the way, I'm not alone. It there is okay, but you have in the past. <laughs> yeah. You, you in the past have said stuff about married guys are lying, yes. living lies. I and said that you have to lie to stay married. Yes. And I believe that, and Wait, that's no, one reason. Was your father and mother? Was, you, was your father and mother married? Very happily for 41 years. You are programmed, deep inside your little head, <laughs> you are programmed to be married. Yeah. You will get married. <laughs> Bill and well, yes. And you know, I will. And when you're going to have some spare time to cultivate relationships. Yes, right? you are going to have plenty of time now. No, that's no, no. Now, yes, that's now is a good time for him to get married. I'm just saying, why do you think that married men have to, have to live a lie? Because it's just inherent in the institution. Marriage is a lot like communism. It works on paper. But it, it does not conform to human nature, especially the male nature. Why? Because okay. men like to sleep around? Is that what you're saying? I mean, isn't that a yes, problem? I, Monogamy is safer, Bill. Sexually, you know how many people well, get sexually yeah. transmitted diseases in this country? It's safer and a lot more boring, okay? No, I, I, I can't fake my way but, through bad wait, sex. Wait, wait, Lots wait, of people wait, can. I've been married five years. But, but, my husband is a stud, so Bill. don't give me that nonsense. Well, then you go. Then you, <laughs> have you ever had a relationship in yes. which you evolved deeper and deeper, exploring yes. Yes. one relationship to a, a, an infinite degree. Yes. 
Why aren't you married? I have dozens of them right now. You know, I, uh, um, yes, I have. I've had long relationships, absolutely. Well, then, then marriage But is... like I, I've said before, the relationship is the plane, sex is the fuel. Oh. When you run out of the fuel... Don't go near the plane, plane no, if I were you. I wouldn't but, you can plane. glide, glide but, to a landing. But the institution <laughs> yeah. of... What I'm saying is, is that when you have a family, there are joys of having a family and, and of, I'm sure. of, of, that transcend orgasming on a model's face. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Well, that's, well, that, that, that's, that's graphic, sort of... As he said to me, <laughs> how would you know? <laughs> uh, if I don't know about marriage, how can... Is, 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 that, is, that, is that what they mean by a model marriage? <laughs> uh, no. You got a point there. Yeah, so... I have never done that. Right. But I... <laughs> But I think I, I, I fantasize about doing that all the time. Oh, well, your fantasy life is yeah. part of your whole being, is it not? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's what I tell uh, in my book. Uh, yes. Advice I give to married men oh, to you keep do. their uh, sex life, uh, uh, you know, uh, happening is while you're having sex with your wife, think about a younger, more attractive oh. woman. See, that to me... I hope they wouldn't be doing that. No. To back up my claim, no, not no, to get no, married. No, no. I hear that all the time. But what is his no, wife like doing right now? She's thinking about the. <laughs> she's the gonna personal take a trainer uh, in New York City. Is she's so thinking she about is. the pool man, and he's thinking about the babysitter. But you're happily married. I mean, please. <laughs> oh, if that is not on. living a lie, unless all. he's thinking about the pool man, and she's thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's that is, not, that's not, that's not necessarily so, as the song says. You can evolve and develop a relationship and go further and further into the many layers of a person's personality of which sex is merely an extension. <laughs> Why are you, are you laughing? Are you making this up? Is there, is there a cue card over there? That, I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. that was a beautiful reading. I, I, mean, I, I mean every word of it. That was in an episode of Star Trek. <laughs> Bill, I was going to say, Why are you laughing? It is because it is an ideal that you aspire to, okay. is it not? But it is a commercial I aspire to right promoting now. marriage. Why can't we talk about that? All right, well, we got to talking about marriage, yeah. which is in your book, and you wanted to bring it up with me. And I, I, I don't understand why people just won't accept what other people want to do. And I also don't understand why they don't accept what I think is a noble trade-off, which is that, I've said this many times and people boo, lust is the price of love. You can't expect to get the greatest thing in the world, love, without paying a price. And that price is lust. But you, but you just, yes. but you just have to no. admit it. You have to admit it. The lust is going to go. I do not want to make that trade-off. I don't That's think my so. decision. Right. Don't, but I, don't I, deny I, that that trade-off exists. You know what that sounds like? A little adolescent. <laughs> well, well, you know what? It's, it's not so bad to be a little adolescent. Ask R. Kelly. <laughs> No. Uh. <laughs> but women want two things in marriage. They want their husband to be faithful, and they want them to have a hold on to their job. It's not a lot to ask, I don't well, think. Want them to hold on to their job? Yeah. Well, support the family. Well, you know, no, put food no, on the no, table. No, that no, kind I would of say thing. I would say women want their man to be loyal and to be loving. If he can hold on to a job, that a lot of the times that has nothing to do with him. Well, maybe I have yeah. higher standards, but you know. No, I don't think holding on to a job is necessarily a point of higher standards. Considering my friends who've gotten laid off, for example, out of Enron or out of other companies, I'm not going to blame. Oh, Oh, my man for that. So come on. I mean, it comes back well, what, what well, women and men want women out of a relationship is love and man. honesty. You know, they want love and honesty. Yeah. I, I just think it comes back to family. And, uh, you know, listen, anybody who's been married, I've been married for 26 years, and I love my wife more today, than, I think, than the day we were married. But I can tell you for sure I love her more than I did 15 years ago when, when we couldn't stand each other. And we have... See, that's another thing. I don't want to go through that period where you, you have know to work at it. I don't want to work. This is my but work, and I love my work. But, but if you have kids, yes. kids would rather yes. have two parents screaming at, at each other than one parent calmly helping them oh, with their homework. Oh, I don't know. I disagree true. with that absolutely a lot. Absolutely true. 
I well, think a kid is way dads. better off with one parent than no. two parents who hate each other and no, are no, fighting. No. Well, if, well, I agree with that. If you're, if, if you're into... I was kidding. If, if, you, <laughs> no. if you're into dire enmity, no. if two people really yeah, hate I, each other, I was but if joking. you're talking about acceptance of each other's right. peculiarities, right. then that's something that needs to be worked at. You know, I know the family values it's platform like doesn't do what well in Hollywood, but 40% oh. of people who are divorced right. regret I, it. They well, regret I, it. I don't no? think the Bush administration has any right to speaking of family values. They regret spending anyway, 300 anyway, million dollars oh. to promote marriage. <laughs>